A lot of people who are involved and listen to hip hop know about the Drake versus Pusha T uh, beef that's going on right now. Now, you know, we don't cover that kind of stories, but we're covering it because it goes along the lines of what we talk about here. Now, Pusha T had came back with another diss track to Drake called The Story of Adnan. Now, before that, Drake had a duppy freestyle um, to push a T from his original song. I forgot the original song name. I think it's Inferno, whatever it's called. You guys, you know, correct me on that. Uh, but I did hear all of the, the songs and this latest disc that push a T did to, um, Drake was way better than what Drake was saying to him, you know? So for me, you know, yes, he put out there that Drake had a, uh, child out here and a baby mama that, uh, was very whorish. Uh, and that's kind of what he put out there. Me, I don't care about any of that. That that's his life. I'm pretty sure that's why he didn't want people to know that. But the picture that we have on the thumbnail, we put it up here, is the biggest issue for me and the biggest issue for a lot of people when they saw this picture. This is actually Drake in blackface. Now the photographer has stated he came out and said, "Hey, this was Aubrey's idea. That's his Drake real name, Aubrey Graham." This is Aubrey's idea. The photographer said, it wasn't mine. I won't let y'all know. Don't come after me. It was him. And he didn't deny it. I'm talking about Aubrey. He didn't deny that it wasn't his idea at all. He stayed quiet for a while, not saying anything. A lot of people been getting at him. And Pusha T also came by and said, hey, you know, he always rapping and around black people. He said, but why he never speak up on black issues? He never say nothing about black people. And I thought about that for a minute. I said, you know what? Drake don't say nothing at all about black issues. You know, he stays real quiet about that. He don't get involved at all. But he said he wants to be around black circles and do this and that and the third. Now, Drake grew up in Canada. He His mother is a uh, Caucasian Jew. That's his mother. And then he has a black father. Now, a lot of people have been getting at um, Drake about this. OK, you know, Wendy Williams had a comment about it. And then now all of a sudden Drake wants to have his black father all of a sudden come out and say something. Now, all this other time, your black father not around. But now you want to parade your black father uh, to talk and defend you now. His father's name, Dennis Graham. Now, that's the thing, Dennis Graham. If you was around your son, because I guarantee you, obviously him taking that picture, you wasn't in the picture. You weren't taking care of him enough to give him any kind of sense. Because if you gave him some sense, your son wouldn't have took that blackface picture. So don't come out here later uh, getting mad trying to defend your son when your son is all the way foul. He was all the way foul. Your son wasn't really raised around black people like that. You can tell he wasn't. And why? You, you wasn't around enough. That's exactly what it was. So don't come out now. My thing is this. Drake should never be able to come back from that blackface picture. He shouldn't. That's extremely damaging to his credibility all the way around because he chose to take that picture on his own. Of course, he's going to have his diehard fans that's going to defend him, and that's fine. I expect that. But anybody with some sense, anybody with some pride, know that, hey, man, if any other rapper would have did this, and, and posted that picture, they'd have been done. That's the biggest shucking and jiving coon stuff I ever seen. I've never seen some black person. Oh, uh, well, I know what y'all going to say. Well, he ain't fully black anyway. Okay, whatever you want to call him, because in a system of racism, white supremacy, that's what they're going to call him. But, you know, I understand he pushed a lot of colorism as well. He always talking about his light skin, this, light skin, that. I get that because, yes, there are some black men that push colorism. It's just not much of an issue with black men as it is with black women, but that's a totally different you know, subject. But this guy, for me, he destroyed his credibility just with that picture. The thing is, Pusha T is an OG in the game. You don't mess with the OGs too much. They, they, they actually have talent. You know, these, these current rappers today don't have a whole lot of talent. It's a, it's a very few of them that do, but, you know, the old school rappers, when they come at you, they, they come in to be dirty and grimy with you. They're not going to be talking about your mama and, and, and your girl. No, it, it's really trying to put some dirt and destroy you. And, and that's really how rap beef should be if you're going to do it. I mean, not not harming people or doing some big and Tupac stuff, but what Pusha T did was some uh, a good move there. That's the only thing I could say with the situation. So shout out to Pusha T for exposing this. 
Um, I don't think Drake should be able to come back from this. I believe this should put a big dent in his career or should be definitely career ending in a lot of ways uh, for putting this picture out there, especially when Drake was quiet after it and didn't say a word about it, didn't say nothing other than, oh, well, you know, he was acting. No, the fact is you did that, bro. You did it. Because if this was a white artist that did this, you know, his career would just about, well, maybe not, but just about be over. So you being a person who is half black, you should have known better. But like I said, I guess you didn't. Um, who raised you? Your mama? Your mama taught you that by blackface it was okay or what? Where you get blackface from? I know you didn't get it from your father. So where you get it from? That's the question that we need to ask. How was he raised? Because you got to understand something. And then not all, but some, not all, but some, we're going to repeat this again. Not all, but some, some who have white parents try to play both sides at times. Okay. When they be around the whites, they try to blend in with them, be around the blacks, try to blend in with them. Now you got some of them who, and that's, that's why I say some and say, man, sure. I already understand. I'm, I'm a black person. So shh. And they go hard in the paint for black people, harder than some black people, my skin color would. So that's why I said some, but he looked like the way he was operating. Definitely. He's that type that he, when he get around his, his, his folks in Canada, he all, oh, well, you know what I'm saying? Because he got all, you know, different when he came down here to Houston, because he got off the plane here in Houston, he was all clean cut dockers and all that other stuff before he got into hip hop. So I, I know his story, but I just think this should be personally just career ending for him. But it's just that simple. But what you guys think on that situation? I mean, you think Drake should have his career ended over this photo and with this blackface situation, Pusha T put out, he never speak up on black issues at all. He stay quiet about that. Um, let me know in the comments.